I'm Song Laron, uh, I'm from New York originally, uh, grew up in LA also, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Squire. I'm Dave Salvan, I'm from uh, Brooklyn, New York, and Rockland County, New York. I'm the co-founder and the president of Squire. You can think of us as like the operating system for the barbershop. So we handle everything from the booking, uh, to the payment, to the point of sale system, uh, to payroll, marketing, everything in between. It's really meant to be a, a full one-stop shop um, that does everything that barbershops need to operate their business. It actually started out from my own problems, you know, um, back, you know, a couple of years ago, it was a really terrible experience to get a haircut. Um, you had to call or text your barber, you had to sit in the barbershop and wait, you had to bring cash. All that can be solved by, you know, technology. And a couple of years ago, uh, ride sharing was all the rage and, you know, you could book restaurants from your phone, so why couldn't you book an appointment? And, you know, it, it was our problem, but once we really, you know, pull, black, pull back, you know, the, the sheets on everything, um, we realized the big problem was on the owner operator side. They were using several different pieces of software to solve something that we thought one software could do. And that's kind of what we, you know, did and developed Squire to solve all the needs of the barbershop in one particular uh, system. So we were actually friends uh, before starting Squire. We were both in New York uh, professionals. I was in corporate law and Dave was in finance and in business school. And we used to just hang out. You know, Dave used to throw these great house parties in Harlem. Uh, we had a lot of mutual friends. And then we decided that we need to do, a, we need a better use of our time. Uh, besides going out and having fun, you know, why don't we develop something that can last a generation? So we would just brainstorm ideas on the weekend. We both lived in Harlem, uh, uptown in Manhattan, so we would go to Columbia campus and uh, actually just sneak into some of the, uh, <laughs> the, the buildings and just whiteboard ideas. Eventually, uh, that's when we came up with the idea for Squire. And like Dave said, it was rooted in solving our own problem, something we both experienced. You know, I started going to the barbershop around six or seven as a kid with my dad, and this was 20 years later, and the process really hadn't changed. And that's something that we both realized. And more importantly, we realized that no tech companies in Silicon Valley were like addressing this space. It was totally overlooked and underserved. And then we thought, you know what? There could be something big here. You know, it was very difficult to raise capital in the early days. The ugly truth is, you know, um, we were targeting barbershops as two African-American guys. Um, they, you know, really, a lot of investors thought or jumped to the conclusion that we only targeting African-American barbershops. But our understanding is everybody gets a haircut. Um, we had to show traction. We had to show that, you know, we were targeting a broad audience and we had to show momentum. You know, we started a company in 2015 and then it raised our first institutional capital to 2019. So, you know, we were just grinding, laying tracks, riding over them, laying tracks, riding over them to get to a point where we had uh, validation uh, in the market. So our first product was a mobile app. And, you know, it took us a lot to get it built. You know, we're not technical founders, either one of us. So we had to find somebody to build it. Um, and eventually we got that product out to market. We were super excited. Uh, we thought it was great. Uh, we love to use it. But uh, pretty quickly, we found that the market, you know, our customers, barbershops and barbers weren't really responding well to it. Um, they weren't adopting it in the way that we thought they would. And that was kind of a, a slap in the face or, or a really watershed moment for us because we realized that although we were solving our problems, we weren't focused enough on our customers. And after all those months of hard work, we had to kind of go back to the drawing board and say, well, how can we really build something that fundamentally helps and drives value to the people we're servicing, which is the barbershop owners and the barbers. Um, so with that, we kind of pivoted and, and built a new product that was much more focused on the shop operations um, and really handling all the back office and most importantly, the point of sale in, in the store and having everything fully integrated. And that was the product that eventually really caught on and the market responded really well to and it's evolved into what we have today. And we thought that, you know, we get every barbershop in the world in two years and, you know, we're doing $10 billion in revenue in the Republic. But, but, you know, I think, you know, that was like useful 
optimism, you know, it's beyond our wildest dreams, you know, um, you know, creating a, a company with a billion dollars of value, you know, from where we come from, you know, from our backgrounds, uh, you know, I think, you know, I was the wealthiest person in my family before I started this and I wasn't making that much money. So now, you know, to build something of immense value, it's just, you know, a different feeling. And, and sometimes I have to, I don't realize it until other people say it, you know, I'm just like, we're in it and, you know, we're in the grind every day and other people say, oh, okay. Yeah. It's something serious because, you know, we haven't really changed since we started. We're the same people, you know, we have a, a bet, we have a little more resources, but you hear from outside sources and you just stop and say, wow, you know, we built something. Yeah. I think that the approach we've taken and the features that we've launched and provided have really been kind of like the, 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 not only best in class, but like first in class a lot of times. Like we're doing things that other companies addressing barbershops or similar industries like have never done. Um, adding this financial layer, adding a, you know, financial services and you know, we provide supplies for the barbershop with our, our product Squire Supply where they can actually order their razors and neck strips and everything right through our system. Um, we're going so deep into the vertical that it allows us to unlock value and, and provide more value than, you know, I, frankly, I think any other company does. We want Squire to be eventually, they don't have to touch any other system at all. You know, they have to just turn on the lights or cut here and Squire's gonna do the rest. And we're marching towards that. Um, and I think we've done a great job so far.